Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm coming back at you real quick on uh, how to review albums positively and emotionally when you go in depth with music and you read into it. So, positive side, just gonna make it brief here because I'm more of the negative side. Um, they look at uh, album reviews and see the goodness in it and that's okay and that's their choice and their opinion and yeah it for most negative people we kind of have to comment a little bit on it but we kind of just let that shit slide because it's just a waste of our time we're just like ah uh, they're just not getting it but to People who fall in the category of the negative side of album reviews we review. We look at how they make mistakes and how they screw up and there's problems in their songs that need improving. And if you agree with me on this, then go ahead and like this because that's the truth. When you really put an emotional either positive side to album reviews or negative side to album reviews that's the outcome you're getting with each song and how it's going to portray as and what you're going to really experience while you're listening to this song and I'm more of a brutally honest type of person so I kind of fall in the negative side and I'm sorry to people who like the goodness side and the positive outlook in the album reviews, even if they watch it. So this is pretty much a video for the fans and for the people that watch my videos to like this video and they can relate to it. You, you just gotta read into it in your own category that you fall under. You don't choose a side. You don't choose both sides. Because if you choose both sides, you're just playing with fire and yes I'm a little picky in certain areas and I'm gonna be honest with you here imagine dragons yes I'm playing with fire there because I am a negative person and I kind of like them because they are a positive outlook kind of group and in some ways it's good but here's the thing that I'm going to disagree with you on uh, it's the message behind what defines their albums. Like Evolve, it defines about how uh, Dan Reynolds suffered through depression and how he came to bring up Evolve. That is my defense on the negative side. And that's how the album worked. So, you can disagree with me on this all you want, but... That's the outcome of it. So comment below if you really love this video, because I actually strongly love this video. Um, I'm, st yes, I'm still a little tired and mostly messed up because of the video I did earlier, and it emotionally made me painfully sad. But I'm kind of mending and trying to slowly get over it. So I'm trying to. Ease back into the way I usually make album reviews, so just a little off today, unfortunately, but I wanted to try to be, use my words carefully with this video and be truthfully honest in this video. So if you guys really love this video, comment below, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.